Let's speak about bio nanogenomics, baby. What is happening, investors? It is your boy, Jack. I am not a financial advisor. I got the clothing line to prove that fact. And today we're speaking about, again, the hottest penny stock that there is right now. That's not really a penny stock anymore. At pretty much $5 a share. So yesterday I made a video on these guys speaking about their public offering. Now, shortly after that video came out, they went on to Twitter with this. Bio nanogenomics expects up to 50% Q4 revenue growth and they priced an $88.5 million public stock offering. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, the main premise of it is I was wondering, first of all, how big the offering was going to be, and why now, why right before the symposium? So they came out with a couple of key pieces of information. First of all, revenue growth expectations, and then the actual price of the offering, how much capital is being raised, and at what price these new shares were issued. Now you can actually see that when this news came out, people became rather bullish. It seems that people were more excited about the fact that revenue is expected to get much better in Q4, then they were worried about the actual public offering, which could very much so be a sign of this company's short-term strength. So today, that's what we want to speak about. We'll go through this article here, speaking about the revenue growth and the public offering. We'll speak about the price action. We actually have somewhat of a period of consolidation over the last few days, which is interesting for this company in particular. I want to briefly speak about SoftBank taking a stake in Pacific Biosciences, okay? ARK Invest's biggest holding in their ARK G. I did think it was quite interesting to see this happening, so we'll just touch on it towards the end. So right before we do get into the video, Video, my friends can I please ask you to hit that juicy like button it really would help me out drop me a comment down below I mean are you happy with this news especially to you actual shareholders do you think the good outweighs the potential bad here and please my friend if you are indeed new around here hit that juicy red subscribe button and join the family of investors also if you are interested in joining my private discord group that's the first link in the description baby in there you get access to all of my buy and sell alerts we have a penny stock channel some of the guys are in buy on nano since they were below a dollar a share get access to over 50 private channels it's an awesome fast growing community full of passion passionate investors. And if you want four free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. You have to sign up, deposit $100. Two of those shares are valued up to $3,700. It's free money, and I mean, who doesn't like some free money on the weekend? So, I mean, let's start it off with the single most important piece of news. This. Bio Nanogenomics expects up to 50% Q4 revenue growth and prices an $88.5 million public stock offering. So, they expect fourth quarter revenue to grow between 36 and 50% year over year based on preliminary results. It's important to understand they didn't announce Q4 revenue up 50%. Separately, the firm announced an $88.5 million public offering of its common stock. And these shares were issued at $3.05 a share, which is pretty odd considering that, you know, they were at $5 a share. They were up in the sevens not too long ago at all. I mean, they made highs here of $7.23 and the offering is at $3.00 and five cents a share my friends that is a that's a big difference now i understand when the news came out they were only at about five dollars even a little bit less but still that's a big undercut as of right now so in yesterday's video i spoke about the timing and i thought it was really odd with the fact the symposium is coming up next week and surely if you had a lot of confidence in your company and its abilities you would wait until after that to do any sort of share dilution now I did also point out that there's already been a huge run-up, and I do still think this is ultimately a smart decision from the company, but this is potentially why they're doing it now, because they were able to come out with this news that said they may make up to 50% year-over-year growth in Q4. Farm reported preliminary revenues between $3.8 million and $4.2 million in Q4, up from $2.8 million the same quarter of 2019. So I just want you guys to think about those numbers, okay? Revenues between $3.8 and $4.2 million. This company has a market cap of over $700 million. When it was in the sevens, they had a market cap of over $1 billion, my friend. So I just want you guys to be aware of that. They are trading at huge multiples i mean truly huge multiples now oftentimes exciting companies do trade at huge multiples especially ones that have technology that has the potential that these guys have so as of december 31st the farm had between 38 million and 39 million dollars in cash and equivalent which excludes approximately 17 million of additional cash it received between january 1st and january 6th from the exercise of warrants and now obviously they're raising a further 88 and a half million dollars so simply put my friends they're going to be in a very good cash position we'll put it that way not much more needs to be said so if you are a long-term investor this is a good thing your company just got fundamentally better to an extent yes your shares got diluted a little bit but the company itself is in a better long-term position now the company has also granted the underwriters a 30-day option to purchase up to an additional 4.35 million shares of common stock at the public offering price so you can expect if they go on another quite considerable run-up 
they're gonna buy those shares. And that is the primary news. And I think that's why we found out about this offering yesterday, because they knew they were gonna be coming out with some good news, or potential good news today. And as I said, the market really did like this. There was a big push. They were trading sub $4 for a while just yesterday. And they closed today at nearly $5. Now in regards to the actual chart, you can see some actual consolidation happening. So I'd say some areas to be looking at are right around here. Right around $3.97 a share. And then there's a few areas with considerable price action. But I mean, right around here there's quite a lot. Right around $5.66 a share. Now Monday, I think they have the potential to absolutely shoot through that. I wouldn't consider it a resistance whatsoever. It's just an area of interest. But if this sentiment keeps up, yeah, I see no reason why they don't go back to make all-time highs. Do I think that should happen? In all honesty, not necessarily. I want to see what happens with the symposium. Now there's one more thing I just want to speak about briefly and it's this, okay? SoftBank takes stake in Pacific Biosciences. They have a master stake of roughly 6% in the company. The interest is currently worth over $350 million. And this did really good things for PacB shares as well. They rose as much as 12% on news before trading was halted. So SoftBank is going heavy on PACB at these prices. And it's ARK Invest's single biggest holding in their ARK G portfolio. Now these guys here, PacB, do genome sequencing. BioNanogenomics do genome mapping. BioNano investors believe that this company has the superior technology. They believe that mapping is the future to an extent as opposed to sequencing. But it does seem like a lot of the big players out here, the guys with the big money, have a lot more faith in a company like PacB, even if it is genome sequencing. They've been on an incredible run this year and they haven't really slowed down at all. Now there's also rumours going around, okay. Initially we thought Arik Invest was very bullish on the company. And then we found out that maybe they're not as bullish. And they haven't bought any Bio Nano at all. And we've seen people speculating now that Arik isn't speaking highly of them. Because they're so heavily involved in Pack B. I really think that's nothing but speculation. I don't think Arc would do anything like that. I don't see why they would. They run ETFs, okay? Yes, Pack B is their biggest holding. They have a lot of other companies in there as well, my friends. If they like BioNano, they would buy them. It really is that simple. If they saw the potential, they would be buying. So I don't think there's any foul play involved by Arc Invest here, as I've seen some people speculating. But I did just want to touch on it, because I've had a few people ask me about that. No, I don't think that's happening at all. So keep in mind, the symposium's next week. We've just found out about this offering. We've just been given some good news in regards to revenues that are coming up. Monday's going to be interesting, okay? I'm expecting green. I mean, the majority of time with BioNano we are, and obviously pre-market we are actually up 8%. Wouldn't surprise me if they try and, you know, bring some news out today or tomorrow. This company seems to be quite active in keeping their investors updated, which is very important. And I also think they appreciate just how quickly they're going up in value. I think they want to try to keep that momentum as best as they can. So all I'm saying is keep your eyes peeled. But anyway, my friends, that was just a quick little update on this company for you guys. Once I saw them announce this on Twitter, I knew I was going to have to make a little bit of a follow-up video after yesterday's because there was a lot of unanswered questions. Now we know exactly what's happening. I personally think it's odd that they are trading at these prices after issuing these new shares at $3.05. But we've seen this happen in the past and it does generally show very bullish market sentiment. If you enjoyed this video, could I please ask you to hit that like button, drop me a comment down below and please, my friends, subscribe if you're new around here. All of that helps me out so much. If you are interested in joining that private Discord group, it's the first link in the description, baby. You won't regret it. Again, access to my buy and sell alerts. We have a penny stock channel, over 50 private channels, nearly 900 investors. It's juicy. And if you want those free stocks on Weeble, that's the second link in the description, my friends. Anyway, guys, I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll see you in another video very soon. Peace.